In this video, we're going to learn both how to use a food processor and then how to make a vinaigrette. So every food processor brand is going to operate a little bit differently, but they're all going to use the same principle of having to disconnect the safety before being able to use the food processor. So for this unit, you can see this small button here. This button is the safety and this needs to be disengaged in order for the food processor to be able to work. So what we need to do is we need to line each of the components of that safety release up with this button. So we can see on our bowl here, which is going to be the first piece we attach when assembling our food processor, that there's this line that runs down, this white line that's going to line up to disengage our safety. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my bowl onto my food processor. And you saw I just, I put it on and it was still a little wobbly. It wasn't quite set. All I had to do was just give it a little rotation. You see now how it's set onto uh, the base. So it's set onto the base, but this line isn't lined up with my safety release. So I just need to click it into place. And you heard that actually click into place. Okay, one more time. Once it's on and stable, I need to click it into place so that that safety release lines up. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, my blade to my food processor. We wanna be sure to be really careful uh, with this blade, handle this uh, just like a knife, uh, because this is very sharp uh, and uh, it should be treated as such. So, to add my uh, blade, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the blade to the stem. And you see when I put it on, it doesn't quite go down all the way into the bowl. All I need to do is give it a little rotation until it falls into place. And you saw how that now, that blade connects with the bottom of the bowl. The last part to put on will be uh, the lid. Once again, this uh, safety release is gonna have to line up with our rest of our safety release. Put it on at an angle, okay? And then once again, listen for it to click into place. Once I hear that click, everything should be lined up and my food processor will start. If any of my uh, safety releases aren't lined up, see how now I have the lid on, but it's not lined up? my food processor won't turn on. Only when everything's lined up will my food processor work. This particular food processor is gonna have two buttons on it. The first is gonna be an on button. When I press that on button, it's gonna run continuously until I turn it off by pressing the off button. Gonna run continuously until I turn it off. Also on our off button, we see the word pulse. And what that's going to do is that's going to pulse our blade for the amount of time that we hold it down. So you can see, I hit the pulse button, release and the blade stops. All right, so now we know how to use a food processor. Let's make a vinaigrette. So a vinaigrette is going to be a temporary emulsion. And at its most basic level, a vinaigrette is the combination of oil and vinegar. So you can make a very basic vinaigrette by adding oil and vinegar together and either shaking them or whisking them into a bowl. Uh, the vinaigrette we're gonna use today, we're gonna use uh, a little bit of an emulsifier in mustard. So it's going to uh, combine for a nice smooth vinaigrette but because it's a temporary emulsion, it's going to eventually separate. Uh, the principles that we're going to use today when making our vinaigrette can be replicated by using uh, a whisk in a bowl, by using an immersion blender, by using um, a traditional blender, uh, or in the case today, by uh, making it into a food processor. So to start, I'm going to make my vinegar base. Uh, so in my base, I'm gonna start with a little bit of mustard. my vinegar, some garlic, and some woody herbs. You could use uh, any flavor combination that you want. Uh, you know, you could use different herbs or no herbs at all. You could incorporate honey for sweetness. You could use different types of, of oils, of vinegars, uh, whatever uh, you have. Um, 
you know, we're really focused today uh, on the method that we're going to use. Um, and once we understand the method, uh, the flavor possibilities are really limitless. So I have all of the uh, ingredients from my base in the bowl. Now all I need to do is lock my lid into place to depress that safety. Turn my food processor on to combine my base. And once my base is combined, all I'm going to do is drizzle my oil in through the lid. I don't wanna add all my oil at once because I am trying to emulsify this vinaigrette and it's going to emulsify uh, much better if we are slowly adding it in than if we all add it all in at once, it probably won't emulsify for us. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. So you can see into my bowl here, I have a really nicely emulsified vinaigrette. Okay, it's nice and creamy looking. Again, it is a temporary emulsification. So um, after a few uh, hours of sitting, uh, it's gonna begin to separate. Um, when that happens, I can re-emulsify it either by pulsing it again in a, in a food processor like this, uh, if it's in a container, giving it a shake in that container or even whisking it. Uh, the last thing I would do for my vinaigrette here is just give it a little taste, make sure I'm uh, good with salt and pepper, make sure it's nice and balanced. Mm. Uh, and this is actually good to go. So that's our vinaigrette. So let's review. When using a food processor, it's really important to line up all of the safety releases to be able to engage the food processor. Next, when making a vinaigrette, remember you can use any combination of flavors to get the desired flavor profile for your vinaigrette. Finally, this process can be used using a whisk, an immersion blender, a food processor, or a blender.